And check this out. It's a giant hole that I dug in the middle of the ground. But you guys are a bit far away. Hold on a second. Let me just bring you guys a bit closer. There we go. So much better. And you can see that it's a giant square box in the ground. Exactly what I said it was before. But I used the uh, blue torch just for fun. Because hey, why not? We have blue torches in Minecraft. But this is going to be the giant storage area for all the items in the game. Well, at least most of the items in the game. I've marked out over here on the wall where I'm going to put the shulker storage systems I have set up. Because what it's going to be is just normal double chest storage system with a little shulker box addition at the bottom. So I have buttons over here that I can pop out a shulker if I need one. So it's nothing too fancy, just probably going to have a whole bunch of cobblestone on this wall, stone on that wall, and then just every other essential item I think in the game going down over there. And just the pathway, I think, yeah, it's the pathway going in. And then two rows, three rows, and if I need to extend it out further, I can go in that way. But I'll build out the first wall so you see exactly what I'm going for for the storage. So these are what the final walls are going to look like. And this one's the cobblestone wall. I was debating whether or not each one of them would have, like, different, uh, what were they called? Walls over there. But I think I might just make them all cobblestone. So, uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do for the cobblestone. What happens is the double chest in the back fill up, then a shulker fills up over here. You can see that I think it's only up to here actually. Oh wow, perfect. Uh, but let's say for instance I want the shulker box. I press that button there and then the piston will shoot it out. I can pick up the shulker box and then another one fills up with uh, cobblestone. So that's the system over here. And yes I know, I can just use my pickaxe and break it, but let's say I don't have a pickaxe and well, I'll always have a pickaxe, but let's say I don't have one. At least, like, I can get this without breaking it. And to fill up the shulker box again, I just have to put it back into this dropper. And Photoshop just did something. Sorry. Uh, hold on one second. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my Photoshop just crashed, uh, and it sent me an error report, so I couldn't see the screen. Um, but yeah, uh, if I don't have a pickaxe, I can just press the button and get my cobblestone shulkers. And to fill it back up, I just put it in this uh, dropper there. And the next time I press the button, that same one's gonna go back in there. So it cycles through the shulker boxes and that's the system I'll have for it. Now what I'll be doing is at the top top where I built uh, the giant, giant storage facility, I'll have a chest uh, like this where I can put in all the items and it'll get automatically sorted through all the system over here. And I'm gonna use the little piping system to do that and that's gonna be a lot of fun to build, but uh, it's gonna need a lot of resources. So I'm gonna just build out the cobblestone walls and the stone walls and then meet you guys back and see what resources I have for this build. And ladies and gentlemen, there is now a super smelter finally in the redstone area. So the smelter I had at the front over there, I'm gonna dismantle it. And this one does 16 furnaces, 16 furni, furni or furnaces, I'm not too sure what the plural is. But um, I actually have no way of getting to the top because the actual way you put the items in is at the top. So let me go to the top of this building and then show you how it works. All right, we're at the top now. It's a nice room up here. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in here because it's a really nice room. But to work the furnaces, or furnite, ferns, to work the ferns, what we have to do is in this chest, we just place in all the items we want. So I'm gonna smelt some stone and you can see that it gets magically sucked out super fast with a whole bunch of minecart hoppers down there this is the second system so i'll put another two stacks and let's go back down uh perfect it goes back down and everything gets individually distributed into ooh, there's a motorcycle outside oh uh oh i never actually connected the furnace <laughs> Yeah, hold on a second. Take number two of trying to show you off my uh, super smelter. As you can see, there's now poppers going down into the furnace. Fern eye, ferns. So it's going to be working, hopefully. Haven't tested it yet. So like before, uh, you go in these chests and you place your blocks. They get super sucked out by the minecart hoppers under it. Same thing with these. And if I go down over here, 
Oh, that's actually working because there's actually fuel in there. Uh, they get individually sorted into each one of the furnaces. So that's pretty cool. I can do 16 at once. And then everything goes down into these double chests over here. Um, I'm going to be hooking it up to the giant storage at the bottom. But for now, I just put the double chest. Because you may notice that there's water streams over here. And uh, I'm going to just sleep the night away. And I'm going to show you exactly what these water streams are. So for the last four hours, I've been growing a whole bunch of oak trees and cutting them down to make trap doors because there's a pipeline at the bottom. This pipeline actually goes all the way from a certain farm to over there and a little redstone circuit shoots up the items into the furnace to replenish the fuel. And which farm is it, you may ask? I actually made a little downstairs area over here and made a little mini farm. So if I turn this on, Oh wait, it's not set up yet. Yes, the bamboo actually go down into this area right over here. And hold on, I gotta get to the bottom to go to the other side because it's actually deactivated. I have never tested it out to see if the fuel's actually gonna make it from here all the way to that side. So we're gonna we're gonna test it pretty much first time on camera. Alright, so it's activated. There's stuff in the dropper. Okay, things are flying. All right, I'm gonna have to be picking up a few things just because I'm close by to it. Uh, so let's put this back in there. Let's turn the farm on. Let's go and see. Oh, please work. I spent four hours on this. <laughs> I, I have no clue if it's going all the way. It might be getting stuck in the corner. I'm not too sure. But I just hope that there's bamboo flying up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I spent four hours on this. Oh no. Not working. It was the corner. It was the corner. I think that's where everything's getting stuck right there because it's losing velocity in the corner. So I might have to ice block down over here and hold on, pick up all this bamboo so I don't lose it. Yep, it's definitely the corner. Okay, that's a culprit. That's gonna be a problem. Oh my goodness, the dolphin. No, my bamboo. Oh, so much bamboo is being wasted. Oh, no, 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 mister. We cannot let this happen. Okay. I think I sussed out the problem. So let's turn this farm on again. And um, what I did is actually put a water block in the corner so it actually doesn't get stuck around the corner. And I put some ice blocks at the bottom. So I might make a little T-junction over there. But I think it's working for sure. And I've heard clicking when I came over here. Is bamboo flying up? Yes, it is. Is bamboo filling up? Oh, hey, trapdoor. I need that. So apparently this side is filling up more than that side. Oh, no, there we go. That's clicking now. Okay. All right. All right. Well, at least they're both filling up now. It's It's working. <laughs> <laughs> probably have to suss out the redstone a little bit and figure out why it's not getting split properly but let me go back to the top and see how long it takes to smelt four stacks of items one two and three four i have a question does this still work if you place like three four carpets down mobs can't pathfind to that because i got killed by a zombie when i was afk i fell asleep playing minecraft which is always fun. Enough talking about zombies killing me. I have to show you the last thing that I did in this area. Now you can see that there's actually a comparator with a piston facing downward. And under these pistons, or actually under these carpets, we have leaf blocks. And what this does, hopefully, I don't know if it works to be honest, I haven't tested it, is when this comparator gets empty, it actually turns on the farm. So we're gonna test it live on camera with me. I built a giant, oh, hold on, let's go fly over there and I'll show you. Uh, walking's actually just fine. Uh, so like I did with the piping for the items, I built a redstone wire underwater. But essentially what it does is when the comparator turns off, the piston will shoot all these blocks forward and it should turn on the machine. So let's go into the storage area and take items out of this comparator. And now let's fly over to the bamboo farm and hope that the farm's working. Oh my goodness, it's working. 
Now is it going to turn off when it's full? Let's see if the comparator is full now. Oh, it's full. Okay, let's see if the farm turned off. Let's see if the farm turned off. Oh! It's off! It's off! There, there's clicking happening, but that's just the items that are, are being dispensed that just happened. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we made a redstone farm. Oh, hold on. We made a redstone farm that's fully automatic and works. <laughs> a very overcomplicated farm. I'm Honestly, I could have just put this in literally the storage area, but I didn't want to have that farm there. I really want to separate the farms uh, just like I was doing in this farm island or redstone island. So now what will happen is when I put items into the super smelter, which I still got to make a stair access for. There's no access to the top. But when I put them in that chest, there's items are pretty much going to leave the hopper. And then over time, the farm is going to activate and refill it. And then once everything's done smelting, it will stop. So it's automatic now. We can move on to another project. So for the other projects, we're actually going to have to wait till the next episode. Because I don't think I can do that project that I want in this one. I don't have enough time for it. But we're actually in the gaming district again. Or I guess the arcade district. And I have to transform the land into different biomes. So I have to gather a whole bunch of gravel. A whole bunch of sand. That might take a while. But in the next episode, for sure, we're going to start off here. And then hopefully get this all done. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Tracking25. And I'm actually going to go watch uh, Minecon Live right now. And yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode.